Right, okay, so that was a bit brutal, unfortunately, because I wasn't uh, able to get the screw out. You know, I was trying to put pressure on it and turn it, wasn't really working, I did chew the head up. I'm afraid I went for the brute force method. I have drilled the head of the screw out. Not really what I wanted to do, because uh, I'm not going to be able to replace that. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the shaft of the screw out. I'm not going to be able to replace the screw. So I've effectively lost uh, the function of that screw. But never mind. There are other screws. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so this has come off. How does that help? Hmm. Let's see. And with the Adam and Eve it, that screw was not the problem. Hmm. Some people would say to uh, maybe put a bit of tape on your table so that as you take these screws out, you can put them down in order so that you know where to put them back because they may not be the same size. I mean, I don't it seem to me. So, how we do it? Okay. You know, I wonder if it's being held on here. Yeah, that's it. It was that screw after all. Yeah, there we go. That's done it. So I did need to take out the screws at the top and that screw at the side did need to come out because it was holding that together just there. Hmm. Okay. So, right, step one, that was an unparalleled success. Not, those two have come out. So the idea is to put the microphone over here. So, yeah, so I can see there, these two tiny thin wires are According to what I've read, those are the microphone wires going to the internal mic. So we're going to put our microphone socket into the path of those wires. Now, do I attempt to do this with these wires on the back attached? There's a pro and a con to taking them off. Uh, it's coming off already. Ah, uh, it's come off by itself. Okay, so that one's off, in which case possibly I can do the do my surgery. Um, not attached. Let's see. Let's see if this one will just pop off. Not popping off. I do not want to damage it. I think I'll just put that in that position. Right, now I'm just going to tape that in place so it doesn't, it's not going to be moving around too much while I'm playing the mic socket and hope that I can pop that wire back on afterwards because that's going to be important. 
All right. Okay, so what I need to be doing, I'm going to have to break those wires, solder them to this, and put this in here somehow. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so <laughs> having opened her up, drawed out that screw, undone that cable that I didn't mean to, I now go to take the audio socket and place it in position to check full fit to see which uh, whether I need to do any sort of minor filing or anything to make sure I can get it in the space. And the answer is no. Unfortunately, the instructions that I had found on the internet were for a slightly different model of uh, Canon DSLR. And in that model, these parts are further apart and there is more space in this area. So as you can see, there is no way to get that in between there. See that if I hold it up that way, perhaps. So you have to get that into that space. There is almost space to slide it in sideways, but then if I do that, it's getting rather high, and I think that could be problematic. Now, never say never, perhaps you could um, possibly remove some of this stuff, you know, maybe. I mean, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to fiddle around too much here because this bracket is for the strap, so you don't want to lose that because uh, that's adding strength when you're wearing it on the strap. Do I want to lose this here? I could cut that off, sort of say hacksaw that off. Still that wouldn't be enough, just taking off the metal bracket. Now that piece there is the remote control socket. I do not use a remote control, though. therefore maybe I could cut that out, but um, I have to be honest guys, it's good to be intrepid, but it's not good to be Reckless. I would not. Uh, I don't think that the uh, the game is worth the candle, so to speak. It's going to take time, and also there's just too much of a risk of it going wrong. I mean, you've seen what happened with the screw there. I think um, if I'm going to do major surgery on this, and there's a, a risk of major problems, you know, sort of doing a uh, doing a bit of gentle filing, I'm fine with, but. Um, yeah, so I think this is the point at which I call it a day. Um, you know, would it be possible to edit this, as it were, to change the size of this thing? Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be enough to get in there. So at this point, I think I give up, put it back together, and when it works, I call that a successful um, abort of the uh, attempted procedure, to be honest. Um, I mean, there's possibly room in here. There's, uh, there's some what looks like space in here, and then you could have uh, problems getting the cable through there, though. So, yeah, all in all, I think let's call it a day. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to put good money after bad, as it were. And uh, yeah, put it back together. Hope she works and learn from that experience. No, I don't think it is possible to add an external mic to a Canon D, uh, is it 1200D? 1200D. Never mind. Okay. Thanks anyway. Cheers for watching.